Greetings family, it is Empress D and I'm here in nature. I'm enjoying the beautiful weather. What I am going to do though is I am going to put my gloves on because my hands are getting cold. But the sun is shining, look at this, it's so nice outside. You know, and yeah, that's what's up. And so I don't wanna, I don't wanna leave here for now. You know, it's quite comfortable actually. Um, if only could I oh I found them um I have like 20 pockets family with all the different layers that I have on but I found my mittens um all right so I hope everybody's well I hope everybody's out in nature I hope everybody's taking care of themselves honestly because days should yeah you, you need to be sh shaping your days and carving out time for important things like getting out in nature even if you can only afford 15 minutes, that's okay. <laughs> you know, it's a walk down here and a walk back, that's okay, but by yourself, no distractions, right? Do it consistently and you'll see, life will get better. As well as changing your diet, um, you know, the spiel, meditating, I'm telling you, just try it, it's not gonna hurt you. And of course, moving your body, right? And you can get a two for one when you exercise in nature right so okay family <laughs> when I look at what's going on around us I, I am sorry I have to keep talking about it because this is what's continually on my mind because I'm trying to figure it out I'm trying to be keen and to be listening to the inner voice guidance and I'm making sure not to be ill prepared for something I you know you just want to hear and uh, at least my personality I want to gather as much information as possible so that I can prepare and that's the INFJ in me we just like to know so that we can prepare my preparation is not is more mental I like to be mentally prepared for everything and so I like to consider all the possibilities and that's why I like to be informed right and so information I love to take it in and of course I have to be really hmm, I have to show a lot of discernment when it comes to to sources of information and how you intake it right of course all information can be used for a purpose right because um, it's not a bad idea from time to time to tune into mainstream media to see what they are saying or see what they're not saying, right? Because you can derive a lot out of that as well. Um, this is where we're at, family. I think that we, we, we have to rearrange our priorities. I know um, in 2019 and, and before that, my priority was really just to be you know happy and comfortable and making sure that i have enough um financial resources to provide a comfortable life right and that's was my goal and my my that was my real and and to provide a good legacy emotional emotionally healthy legacy through my children and so that's that was always my goal um always my goal and so that that that's simple things right there's nothing more than that right and so in order to provide that comfortable lifestyle i had to earn a living that gave me a comfortable way a wage that could afford me a comfortable lifestyle so that was part of my decision making when going into the work that i ended up doing the good thing though is that my original thinking for doing that was in order to affect change, in order to help, okay? Um, and so it was a match made in heaven. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can make an, a, a good earning and this lifestyle would be able to afford us to be comfortable. Okay, I, I'm sign me up, right? And that's how I determined that I was, when in, I was gonna be a nurse, right? Although if you go to ask my parents, they said that I wanted to be a nurse way back when I was really small and single digits, right? So. But anyway, I'm a nurse and, and, and luckily that profession provided me the best of both worlds. And maybe that's why I'm, I'm doing well because I, I was one of the rare people 
that was actually living and working in their purpose, right? Although my purpose then is much different than my purpose now. And I've recognized that through the last two years, a lot has changed for me professionally. But nonetheless, that's not what we came to talk about. The main reason that I wanted to share was to discuss that we really have to be prioritizing what's important in our lives. How do we know? How do we know what's important to us? Um, we, have to, we have to look at that. And that's what happened for me, right? Before it was just basically making money because it, it, you know, that's what it is. I wanted to make money, but I wanted to make it on my terms that I was doing something I, was, I, I enjoyed doing and in a, in, a, in a way that I could do it with a good work-life balance. That was what I wanted set out to do and that's what I achieved, right? And so I thought I made it. I just needed to you know, ride it out until to the sunset, until, until retirement, right? And that was kind of my plan. But since over the last two years, everything has changed. And that's what I'm trying to say to you, family. I'm hoping that your priorities, you've taken a look at your priorities in life over the last two years and ideally they should have changed, right? Because what we went through or what we are going through, um, at, at least for me, puts a big magnifying glass on what is important in life and what isn't. At least to me, that's what, that's what, that's what this has done for me. It's also shown me a lot of truths and, and that has happened because I've really gone within and I've really learned to connect to source okay at the end of the day family we have to know ourselves <laughs> we have to go within we have to maintain practices that will encourage us in that direction it is imperative family okay I don't want to sit here saying, do this, do that, do this, do that. So I'm going to end here, family. It feels like I'm kind of barking at you. And I don't want to do that. Everything I'm saying is with love because we are, we're being com compelled by the universe to do this, right? We're in some really interesting times. Family, please get out in nature. Look how gorgeous it is, okay? Um, and please be taking care of yourself. Improve yourself every day, family, okay? Thank you for taking the time to listen to this message. And I love and I value each and every one of you, family. You take good care of yourselves. One love.